Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and today I want to just explore some different types of fruit that I eat. And in general, I'm going to start a series of videos that focuses on my favorite foods. As a mucusless diet practitioner, the type of foods that I actually eat, because I understand. I often don't talk about as much as I talk about the diet and talk about things that are within and around the diet I often don't talk about the kind of nuts and bolts what do you eat and how do you eat it and so I want to try and rectify that and focus a, a bit more on the actual things that I and other mucusless diet practitioners eat on a daily basis. I guess one of the reasons why I haven't got into that as much is there's a lot of other people that talk a lot about fruits and vegetables and juicing and that kinds of thing and I have a tendency to not like to repeat a lot of stuff that other folks say uh, just if if it looks like other people are taking care of it then I'll focus on other things that I don't hear anybody ever saying but uh, with that said I do understand that the mucus free perspective is still unique when it comes to uh, how you eat and what you eat so let's just explore I'm just kind of doing this off the cuff and uh, let's see well one of my favorite probably my favorite fruit right now is grapes and all kinds of grapes so let's take a look at table grapes so table grapes come in white red and black my favorite is the black but I really I like to mix them all and I tend to eat whatever is in I don't want to say in season but which one tastes the best is sometimes you go to the store and sometimes the black grapes will be extraordinary but the white and the red grapes are terrible or the red grapes might be great but the white are just you I mean you can look at them and see they're all mushy or nasty and they're not good and maybe they don't even have black grapes that's been happening lately so I just kind of go with the one that looks the best, smells the best, tastes the best, and I'll try to stock up on those. And so I might go and get how many pounds? Uh, I mean, as many pounds of grapes as I can afford <laughs> at any given moment. Because sometimes, as right now, I'm actually, past couple weeks, I've been fruit juice fasting and primarily on grapes. So I, and the grapes have been a bit expensive, so it's, yes, it is, it is a little bit expensive, but as long as I, it's not any more expensive than if I was into any other, my, my other mode of eating, where if I was into my vegetable, fruit and vegetable eating mode, it wouldn't be too much cheaper than when I get in the juicing mode. So sometimes, maybe some other time, maybe I'll talk more about finances and how to make a mucusless diet really work financially. I know that's a pretty popular topic, but it definitely can be done. But sometimes you just have to think differently. That's not good, but. <laughs> So yeah, so that's the table grapes. Now, let's check out when these are in season. Look out. I think they're, they usually are in season late August through September, maybe into October. And there's only a couple brands I've ever seen sold in any of the stores, whether it was, you know, that was one of those items where Whole Foods sold the same brand that was being sold at a Meyer, it was, was being sold at a Kroger uh, supermarket, you know, they it was kind of these same brands, but oh, these Concord grapes. Now, I really first only got into them a couple years ago because they really weren't being sold 
where I was from, you know, further back than that. So I started really getting into the Concord grapes, and they are just delightful, delicious. One of my favorite juices, or probably my favorite juice to make right now, would be like a half a pound of red grapes, a half a pound of white grapes, a whole pound of black table grapes, and then about two handfuls of these Concord grapes. Add a lemon to it, and I am in heaven. There's nothing on earth to me that tastes better than that. <laughs> you know, I could have, if I had a million dollars or if I was rich or won the lottery, and they'd be like, what, what's, what, you know, you just won the lottery. What are you going to buy? First thing I would do is go make me a grape, Concord table grape juice delight. You know, I love it. It tastes so good. Nothing better than it. But if I did have that money, you already know I'd be buying an orchard, <laughs> plenty of land. We're going to have a nice a vineyard slash orchard slash garden farm forest. <laughs> you know, is that, that's, that's the direction. And that's the direction it really needs to go in. It seems, uh, you know, folks with resources oftentimes don't even think like that, you know, but... I want to get too off into that. Let's see what's going on with apples. Apples are wonderful to add, to really just to add to anything, you know, especially in my juices. If I'm running out of money, but I still want to have grape juice, I'll start to cut it with apples. And throw one or two apples in to a grape to the grapes which will make it go a little further and still be very tasty not as good as all grapes with no apple <laughs> but uh, the apple is definitely a good item to use to just kind of shake things up a little bit and uh, and great to eat I've had many periods where I would kind of do a lot of apple eating go days where I'm just eating apples. I've done that. When I first got into the diet, I did a two week long apple fast. And now again, please do not go off and do that. I'm not suggesting anybody do that. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it worked for me at the time. But yeah, apples are just a really, really great fruit. And as usual, you have to experiment to really find good quality apples. You gotta be careful when you buy the non-organic apples, they oftentimes will have like wax and all kinds of mess on them. You gotta really learn how to clean them properly. Uh, I, my favorite cleaning method tends to be a, a lemon juice, kind of a, a, a distilled, like water, lemon juice, maybe a little bit of salt and uh, that's kind of the way that I'll clean a lot of my fruit. I know there's all kinds of stuff you can buy in stores, and I've I've experimented with some of that stuff, but that's too expensive for me. Uh, lemons are kind of the the ultimate fruit, as far as I'm concerned. Speaking of lemons, <sighs> yay. <laughs> Lemons, I do, if you don't know, I do lemon juice enemas as well as many other practitioners of mucus diet that I know. Take lemons and make, take, extract the juice from it, add it to some warm distilled water, put it in the enema bag and get busy. But if you would like more details about that, check out my ebook, Spirit Speaks, Dialogues and Essays on the Mucus Diet Healing System. But lemons are just, it's like human Drano. And I've done many lemon juice fasts where I just would, and that's a very aggressive fast. That's something, one thing we'll talk more about in terms of the transition. Sometimes you want to be aggressive, sometimes you want to hold back a bit. 
and lemons can be one of the things that you use to be more aggressive you want to kick up the detox loosen stuff up really really get the lymph system moving you start really dealing with some serious lemons and it's off the chain another thing that I'm gonna give you guys a little a little gem right here I use lemon juice under my armpits as a deodorant I've done that for probably four or five years before that I used you know I used some some kind of natural organic something that you would buy in a store that really never worked all that great but then I did a little research and I was like well wait a minute what what if I just because I started experimenting using lemon juice on everything I went crazy with lemons cuz I buy boxes of lemons at a wholesaler and I might go through an entire box of 165 lemons a month uh, I use less now but for many years I would have at least one box a month and I was going through tons of lemons you know and cuz I used it for so much I would be in every juice for my enemas and then when I start using it as the de uh, deodorant and uh, so I'll do a separate video on that and uh, there, there's a lot that I could say about why you should not use regular <laughs> store-bought deodorants is horrible for your for your body is very constipating your pores uh, that kind of thing is there's nothing nothing natural about it really when you're talking about uh, the smell body odor is coming from one of two places particularly with your underarm it's really your internal impurity or bacteria building up on the outside and as you start to clean your insides you really don't have to deal with that the intensity of the internal impurity you know that smell coming out as over the years I could I could actually smell the difference between the internal impurities leaving the pores of my body and my and like bacteria kind of building up and lemon juice on the, on the exterior just totally annihilates the whole bacteria issue so like I said maybe I'll do a separate video about that at some point How about watermelon so watermelon is beautiful what is a bit frustrating about watermelon is that it's really hard to find good tasting watermelon with seeds uh, oftentimes if I go to some place even like like a Whole Foods or something and get organic the organic ones will taste horrible and so it's like, and that's a, a thing to be said about organic. You can't just buy organic and expect that everything's going to taste good <laughs> because it doesn't get now. Th Ooh, this looks real good. This would be off the chain. Another thing you get good at is you can look at some fruit and you know if it's going to taste good or not. I can tell you this is not happening here. This is all pale and stuff but this down here is what time it is this is this would be exquisite that would be pretty tasty and and I can all so you you're, you're able to look at the fruit you're also able to smell it touch it feel it when you buy fruit you, you know it's kind of like you can be at one with it because it's going to be inside you you know so you just don't you kind of want to think about the vibration of it and if you open yourself to it you can actually feel the vibration of the fruit as you buy it you know you kind of you touch it and look at it and smell it and you can really kind of absorb its vibration and I think it's it's important to begin to uh, open yourself up on that level be a, a bit more intuitive watermelon is something that you want to eat alone you don't you really as a rule of thumb don't want to mix watermelon with a lot of other fruits if you're gonna have a lot of watermelon because the what the way the watermelon eliminates is uh, is very quickly 
and it, there's it sometimes doesn't really combine very well with other fruits and stuff, you know. But with that said, if there's some watermelon in a fruit salad that you have, it's not that big a deal. But as you get more evolved with your diet practice, that'll be something that you want to think about. You really would want to get into mono watermelon modes. And also, I really like to juice them, which is something I've started doing more over the past couple years, where I'd get a watermelon and put it through the juicer instead of, uh, instead of just eating it. And usually combine it with other stuff. I really like watermelon and strawberry with with a lemon, of course. Everything I do, I have I put a lemon in it. But uh, yeah, we'll talk more about those, some of that kind of stuff, recipes and things, upcoming. Blackberries. Oh yes, 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 yes really got heavy into blackberries over the past couple of years and I find that blackberries really combine well with grapes so I'll have uh, half grapes half blackberries but blackberries by themselves is is amazingly effective and you really don't even you just look at them and you don't think that they're gonna fill you up and then you eat a handful of them and you're like wow I am satisfied and I don't crave nothing else. I don't want nothing else. I just ate some, some blackberries and it's off the chain. Now, oftentimes, if I can't get Concord grapes or I can't get black grapes when I'm juice, juicing grapes, when I'm in my, my grape juice mode, I will throw in a carton of blackberries. And it just does something to the vibration of the juice. It really makes it better. Yeah, blackberry is definitely, I mean, just look at this. I mean, the vibration. This is, this is human food right here. This is what it's about. You don't have to put no salt on this. You don't have to put no garlic powder. This is fruit. <laughs> Doesn't need anything. You eat this. If it's ripe, you can take it off and eat it. Mmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will leave it there for the time being. I'm going to do a few more of these videos, so, uh, so stay tuned, and I will talk with you real soon. Peace, love, and breath.